Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how you can use PIDs to control a camera rotation in order to make it follow the character's head orientation. I will use the camera PID controller explained in the video Controlling a Follower Camera Rotation with PID. I am adding the link of that video in the description below. For this demo, I am using the third person example template provided by Unreal and made some minor additions to the third person character. Here I have uh, the third person example template that is provided with Unreal. In this uh, project, I made uh, some modification in order to have a camera that will point to the same direction as the head rotation. So, in third person uh, BP in blueprints, you will find the third person character. And here, what I did is add uh, a scene capture component 2D. This is the same thing as a camera. You perfectly can have a, here a, a camera component instead of, instead of this scene capture component. It's just that uh, I, I'm using this one because I'm uh, the output of this camera. I'm, I'm sending that output to a texture, which I use later in a widget. And that allows me to have uh, two views on the same viewport. Uh, but the remake, this is the same thing as a camera. You can have here a camera if you want. To this component, I added a camera PID controller, which is a component that will instantiate two PIDs to control the camera angle. Um, this camera PID controller, I already made an explanation of this component uh, in a previous video. However, I will make a, a quick explanation of this again in this video. So, here we have the camera PID controller. As I told you, this is attached to the camera I want to control. The camera I want to control is a parent of this component. So the first thing I do in the begin play, oh well, I want to explain uh, first that there are a couple of important variables, well, three important variables. The first one is the the bond that I want to follow. In this case, it's, this is a name, and here I will uh, provide the the socket or bond name that I want to follow. Also, I have a couple of references. The first is camera. It's a reference to a scene component. It's the camera I want to to control. And a reference to the mesh of the character. Uh, well, the first thing I do in the begin play is to create or instantiate the two uh, controllers. One to control the angle, uh, the your angle or the your rotation, and another one to control the pitch rotation of the of the camera. After that, the next thing is to initialize the values on the each PID. For the your PID, the first thing I have to initialize is the uh, process variable max and mean uh, max and mean value. Since this is an angle. Uh, what I want uh, this angle can vary uh, the variation could be between minus 180 and 180 positive. Then I will uh, set the coefficients for the PID control. This kind of control uh, only needs a proportional uh, component, so I will use only uh, P coefficients and the value is 20. I arrive to this value with, with try and error. I start with 1 and 20 I found uh, provides a good response in terms of speed. I do the same thing with the PID, uh, pitch PID. Uh, set the variable, the process variable uh, mean and max value and then the coefficients and that's all with the same values actually.
Next thing, I get a reference to the mesh of the character, and next, uh, get the reference to the camera I want to control. And that's the initialization of that. Then, you can see the tick or the update. The first thing I do is a safety measure is to verify the camera and mesh are valid. Then, using the mesh and the bone or socket name, I get the rotation of that bone. In this case, will be the head. And then, I, re I retrieve the, the vector that is pointing to the front of my bone, in this case, to the front of my head. This is the right vector. If you notice the the the, the, the humanoid skeleton of a real is rotated to the x axis, so that's why I get the right vector. This is the vector that is pointing pointing forward actually. Then that will be that will be my my bone direction, my head direction. I use that uh, in this function that you can. Uh, uh, um, I think you can read by yourself or following the blocks. What this function does is to compute the uh, yaw angle and the pitch angle that my camera has uh, to the actual target. So that's the current angle that I have to the target. And then those two values that are my my uh, process variables, I want them to be zero because I want to point exactly to the same direction that I'm passing here, the same direction that my bone, my bone has, my head has in this case. So I take the geo rotation, pass it uh, as a process variable to the process PID. Again, I need, a, I want to, uh, I write to a value of zero, so that will be my reference. And with the job PID, I process that PID, and that will give me a, a output, a job uh, angle that I have to uh, add to my camera to point to the same direction. I do the same thing with the pitch PID, so I pass the pitch angle that I, current, I currently have. I want a reference of zero, I want to arrive at a zero value there, and that will give me an output that I, ha I will have to rotate uh, in my camera to point to the same direction. So with those values, I will create a rotator and I add that rotation to my camera. So that's what I'm doing here, and that's all. So as you can see, this uh, is uh, instantiate two PIDs, one to control your rotation and one to control pitch rotation, and uses as a reference or follows the bone that I'm passing as a parameter. So that's all. If you see, you go to the character here. I'm t uh, this character already has a uh, PID controller, and I'm passing the bone I want to follow. In this case, that bone is called head. So if you see execution here. If you move well the the camera is following the, the head orientation in that case. Also well this re if you can see these uh, the animation uh, artifacts are filtered out because I'm following the rotation of the head and that filters out all the translation the translation of all the the uh, all the change of the position related to the animation. So that's it. I hope this is 
uh, useful for you and if you have any question don't hesitate to contact me via email or via comments.